Hello, and welcome back to the final installment of Wall Street Training's Advanced Excel for Data Analysis course. In this last segment, what we will do is provide a basic introduction to recording a simple macro, accessing this macro into a toolbar with a pretty icon in which you will be able to reuse this every time you open up Excel. This will facilitate a great amount of formatting and is similar to how we created our Wall Street Training add-in macros toolbars. What we will do here is start off by creating a very basic simple macro via record macro. This is not a course on VBA, so don't get too excited there. We'll record a macro that basically changes the font color to blue. We'll take this blue macro, we'll assign it to a button that we will create and a new custom toolbar that we will create. We'll change the icon to reflect the blue pen and then we'll save that file in a location where you'll always be able to access this every time Excel opens. We'll then create a second macro changing your percentages to a percent format, one decimal italics. That usually takes three mouse clicks. We'll show you how to do that in one, and also later on show you how to assign a short keyboard shortcut to that. Although, if you're using our add-in toolbars, we would have already used up every single key on the keyboard, but we'll show you how to do it anyways, should you feel like the need to customize additionally on top. So why don't we get started? What I'd like you to do first is, close out of all Excel files. Only have one Excel file open, a blank Excel file. And I would like you, again, to create a macro via record macro. So I would like you to go to Tools, Macro, Record New Macro. Please find Tools, Macro, Record New Macro. Click it. The dialog box asks you, what is the macro name? Call it, I don't know, Blue Pen. Note, by the way, that you cannot have spaces in the macro name. Shortcut key, leave it blank. I can show you how to assign it later. Store it in this macro, fine. What's the description? Whatever. Hit OK. You now see this toolbar that shows up that says Stop Macro. Now you are recording every action you do. So be very deliberate here. Do not actually click around, type in a number, don't do anything. You should be in cell A1. If you are, great. If you're not, leave whatever cell you are. Don't do anything. Find your font color icon. Do not click on the A because you will make it red. Click on the arrow and click on blue. Make sure it says blue and not light blue, not sky blue, not pale blue, not dark blue, but blue. Now click on blue. If you actually click on the A, you made it red. And you click on it again, you make it blue. You basically had, record, had Excel record a changing of font colors from red and then to blue. So please be very careful and deliberate here. Click on blue once, you're fine. That was it, you recorded your macro. Don't worry, we'll get a little bit more sophisticated in a second. Click on stop record. Excel macro now has stopped recording and it's stored in this file, which is currently book two, whatever book number you are, and it has that code stored somewhere. Go now to tools customize, or right click anywhere on your toolbar and go to customize. In the customized dialog box that now appears on your screen, go to the toolbars tab if you're not already there and click on new. You get a new dialog box called new toolbar, toolbar name. Call it custom one, whatever you want. You can call it my toolbar, does not matter. I'll leave it as custom one and here you know you can have spaces. Hit OK. You have now created a new toolbar right here that's blank and empty that appears. If you don't see it on your screen, it's there somewhere. As long as custom one is checked in the toolbars, it is visible. So what I would like you to do now is, I need you to create a new button. Go to the Commands tab in the Customize toolbar. By the way, in the, custom, in the Customize dialog box, go to Commands. Do not ever hit Close or Escape until I'm telling you you're ready to. In Commands under Categories, go down to Macros. And you look at this annoying happy face called Custom Button. And we're going to wipe the smile off this happy face. We're going to click and drag that custom button into your custom toolbar. Now we have this happy face there. Right click on the happy face and I want you to click on Assign Macro. Assign Macro, your blue pen appears. Double click on it or click on it and hit OK. And now you have created your toolbar and assigned this macro to blue pen. Now, this happy face does not illustrate to us what it does. So we're going to change the icon. I want you to right click and go to change button image and select this pen in the middle and click on it and now it becomes a pen. So again, there's a default number of button images. Make that pen, pencil. 
Right click now, because we can't tell what this pen does. There's no indication it's blue. Right click on it and go to edit button image. You get the button editor dialog box, which you can edit. I will click on blue and I will make the tip of this pen a blue tip. Therefore, it will designate to us that you're going to change your font color to blue, like a crayon, or you can make the whole pen blue up to you. I'm going to hit OK. And there's your blue tip pencil. Now, I want you to hit close because you are actually done. That's it. But we still have a couple more things to do. I want to create a new macro button, and we need to do a couple of things with this toolbar and save it in a location that Excel will always show. So what I would like you to do now is take this cell A1, and I want to go ahead and create a new macro that makes it a percent formatting with one decimal as well as italicized, because that's the standard default formatting that we want. So what I'll do is here is I'll quickly zoom in, and in cell A1, I'm going to type in 0.1. I'm going to go back to this A1, and now I'd like you to go back to Tools Macro, Record New Macro. Macro name, I'm going to call it uh, whatever you want. Percent Italic 1 for one decimal. Store it in this workbook, fine, hit OK. Again, you are now recording. Click on the percent style. Click on Increase Decimal. Click on Italics. All of those three actions were recorded. Hit Stop. Go back to Tools Customize. Go back to Commands, scroll down to Macros, get a new happy face, put it next, drag it and click it, drag and drop next to the blue pen. Right click, assign macro, and assign it percent italic one. Okay, here's the problem. I want to change this to designate a percentage, but I can't, there's no percent here, no worries. Here's a percent up here, that was one of Excel's custom or default icons, right click on that percent style. Go to copy button image. Right click on your happy face. Go to paste button image. There you go. But I want to designate that there's one decimal here. So I know it's different from Excel's. Right click, 